2023 for me was really a year I enjoyed very much. A year that was very intense, to say the least. It was intense in the sense that a lot of the things that I wanted to accomplish, I didn't accomplish. But also because it was only in 2023 that I actually felt physically better. If you followed this channel, I shared you that 2021 was a hectic year for me, to say the least. <laughs> and it was only in 2003 that I actually felt that I physically was better. I feel quite a bit maintaining my lifestyle, going to bed in a more of appropriate time, being more focused on, on actually doing the things that matter and taking out all the rest. I'm actually trying to take social media out of my life, trying to get my, my phone usage especially on social media, down to like 30 minutes a day. That's it, but it's start. So financially speaking, what have I learned in 2023 that I think could help you as well? The first thing that I've realized and I learned was that you win by keeping your expenses at the same level or down and not actually increasing your lifestyle, even if your income goes up which was my case by lots of different things that happened. My income went up, but my expenses stayed relatively the same. And this actually trained my mind to be patient. And with that, I had actually more emotional and spiritual peace. And what does that actually mean is that I didn't feel that I was not in a rush of doing things. I had more space in my budget. I had more peace in my mind. And with that, I could actually make better financial decisions simply because everything was under control. I don't think we actually can control anything. We can control our actions. That's it, but we can't control any, anything around us. That's what I believe. My, I increased my income overall by also deleveraging my house loan, my debt, my mortgage. At the time, it was when interest rates were going up everywhere because of inflation and we decided to, to pay about 80 percent of our house loan as opposed to getting another piece of property investing it get another loan a house mortgage whatever and keeping this going entertaining this leverage mindset and sure you can make money simply i don't like to be in a position that i've been in in the past that i owed people money and that made this go in my mind and in my heart. And so I rather have emotional peace and spiritual peace. It gave us so many better options and a better cushion and a better sleep at night. <laughs> so to say the least is that I no longer have, we no longer have this creep feeling of someone coming behind saying, hey, you owe people money. You need to pay back the loan. Somebody stole my joy. I'm just going to work just because I have to pay off a house. And today things are very different because there is financial peace in our lives. There is financial peace in our budget. My bank account is probably happier. And because I started doing a budget, things are more under control. At least I can control things. My third thing that I learned in 2023 was Surprises, not the good ones, especially for my budget. So you, you, you're doing the work, you're going around, making sure you think of, okay, this is coming up this month or next month or three months time. I know this is happening. And you try to ensure that you actually put money aside to all these different things. And then suddenly, bam, your kid decides to play, opens, <laughs> this actually happened. And we rush into the, into the hospital and he has like, stitches in this private hospital. The bill comes thinking, eh, what to do? What can we do? I freaked out. This is not in my budget. And the problem is not, I don't have the money. The money is there, but I have the feeling like, okay, we over budget. And I have the feeling that I, I never have or never keep having enough to sustain this. So what I've learned and this event with my son happened this year. What I've learned was that just pay the damn thing, move forward and get the anxiety out of your life by just paying it, moving forward in 2023, things kept popping up. If it was family and also for 
the the house that we're renting just things popping up thinking oh not again okay here's another hundred dollars here's another 200 bucks here's another for our our viewers in Mauritius is another 5,000 rupees because of something just broke and at some point I freaked out it's like <laughs> this is crazy it's like okay and I just had to, to make a decision Fabio next month it's a new month you're creating your legacy next month just pay it now leave it all behind and move forward and voila so this is what I wanted to share if you find it valuable please let me know and tell me what have been those things that in 2023 you have learned also don't forget to subscribe to our, our channel if you're new here my name is Fabi Vu I've got 15 years of experience in the financial industry and I make these videos so that you can manage your personal finances much better and without having the anxiety of not knowing what to do if you even have more money left maybe I can help you with that by doing these videos so thanks once again for watching today I hope you have an amazing year I hope you are able to crush it and I'll speak to you on the next video bye for now